Alright, before the video starts, let me break down what you can expect in this review. One, I'll be talking about the plot or the story of the episode. Two, I'll be talking about the things that I enjoyed. Three, I'll be talking about the things that I really didn't care for. And four, I'll be giving the episode a score out of ten. Also, spoiler warning for this review. With all that being said, I hope you enjoy. Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Tanner here, and welcome back to the final Season 9 episode review for you guys. This is it, the big finale. Will it be good or will it be trash? Let's find out. Today we'll be covering episode 94 of Ninjago, entitled Green Destiny, and without any more hesitation, let's go ahead and jump right into the plot. So, the ninja are cornered by the Sons of Garmadon in Ninjago City, but a portal opens in the sky and the other ninja come through, and a quick reunion actually does take place. The ninja plan to take down the Oni Titan, while Lloyd and Will go after Garmadon. The ninja actually end up saving a few people whilst on the back of the dragons, and even Dareth actually saves a few people, which is really surprising. Meanwhile, the Krypterium prison crew breaks out. This includes Misako, Pixel, and many other elemental masters. And Wu and Lloyd end up confronting Garmadon. A big fight breaks out between the three, and it's actually pretty epic, and even the firstborn dragon gets involved. Wu is eventually knocked down off the tower, leaving just Lloyd to face off against Garmadon. Meanwhile, the ninja actually get creative with the Oni Titan, and Master Wu goes ahead to help out as well. Lloyd vs. Garmadon is actually heating up, and Lloyd ends up using the first Spinjitzu Master's sword which in itself is pretty cool. Soon Lloyd learns what he must do to actually, you know, take on Garmadon, and that is classically to fight without fighting. Lloyd ends up resisting Garmadon, and eventually the Oni Titan falls, but it's not down, but many of the other Ninjago citizens know what they must do, and actually help the ninja take down the Oni Titan. Lloyd vs. Garmadon escalates, and Lloyd continues to use his to fight without fighting tactics to resist Garmadon, and this eventually motivates Lloyd's power to return. Lloyd suddenly gets a big boost in power, and it's pretty cool to see. And, you know, in correlation with uh, Lloyd's power coming back, Garmadon's power actually fades away. And this eventually does go ahead and take down the Oni Titan. Garmadon warns Lloyd that they are coming, and Lloyd makes the connection that he is referring to the Oni. Apparently now that Garmadon's power is gone, the Oni are now free to cross over, or something like that. I don't know, we'll figure it out. And yeah, Garmadon is actually arrested, and the ninja are the heroes again, so that feels good. The next day, the ninja reunite back at the palace and begin cleanup. They all have their old suits back, and it's pretty cool. And they're all reunited uh, by Master Wu again, and all is right in the world. For a final scene, Master Wu sends the firstborn dragon and the rest of the dragons back to the first realm, because they cannot stay in Ninjago for various reasons. And Lloyd and Master Wu have a brief conversation, and Lloyd expresses his concerns that the Oni are actually on their way. So will just about do it for the plot. Pretty good finale, I must say. There was a lot of good things going on in this episode, and let's go ahead and talk about that. So the initial ninja reunion when the ninja come back from the first realm was really cool to see. After seeing these characters apart for so long, it was really nice seeing them all back together again as a group. And of course, the ninja are back, and they are free to be ninja again. And they do that classic ninja shtick, where they go ahead and save people while being, you know, as ninja as you can be. Wu and Lloyd vs. Garmadon was a very cool fight, and especially, you know, in the context of Season 9, it was one of my favorites. The ninja team took down the Oni Titan, and their teamwork is something to be admired. Really good job on that part. And finally, for the big finale, Lloyd vs. Garmadon was, of course, everything that I wanted it to be. Lloyd got his power back, Garmadon got his powers removed, and we got a little bit of a glimpse as to what's to come. That being, of course, the Oni Forces. And yeah, the ending was pretty solid as well. It had that little classic feel, and I loved seeing the different pairings, such as, you know, Kai and Skylar, Jay and Nia, and Zayn and Pixel back again. Really, really good episode overall. And the ending just gave that little sense of closure in there, of course, while also leaving it open to the next season. So overall, I'm sure you guys know what I'm going to say. Really good episode. I loved it. I thought this episode was very well done. I thought this episode was one of the best ones this season, if not the best. And you'll also notice here, there is not a section for the bad things because I really didn't find anything that I really hated about this episode, which is a first for uh, season nine. And of course, because of that, I think you all know what's coming. I'm going to go ahead and give this episode a 10 out of 10, which is my very first 10 out of 10 for season 9. So thanks a lot for watching guys, it'll just about do it for my review of the season 9 finale. If you enjoyed as always, be sure to hit the thumbs up button, and as always guys, the subscribe button is there too for you to click at your leisure. Of course, remember that the comment section is yours for any discussions you want to have regarding this topic, or if you just had a general comment, that's fine too. Thanks a lot for watching once again guys, my name is Jennifer Fishies, and with that I bid you farewell.